This is a brief presentation brought to you by Aid Medical on the Circle of Willis. Um, this presentation is subtitled The Man on the Brain, which is the way I think about the Circle of Willis. Um, and I'll explain more about this later. Here is um, the Circle of Willis labelled. We're going to take away these labels shortly um, and work through the structures. But for, before we do, um, here's a helpful way to remember how the Circle of Willis is structured. Um, so you can think of Willis as a stick man or as an alien. I think of him as an alien because you'll notice off the top of his head are two antenna um, with those two little white dots on the top of them. Um, and I just find thinking of him as, as an alien means I don't forget the antenna. Um, but obviously being a, a stick man type alien he also has two arms and two legs um, and a pair of ears as well. Um, you might also notice that coming off of Willis's chin are another pair of arteries and also coming out of his back sort of kidney area are another pair of arteries as well. Now I just remember they're there and I tend not to forget them but if you find you're forgetting them because they don't fit with your stick man image then maybe you could think of Willis as being um, a sort of four-armed, four-legged alien or maybe it's just a sort of spider-like alien with just eight legs. But whatever works for you, I, I find this works for me. But, but just find an image that you find helpful. So that's Willis, the alien. Um, and here you can see why I refer to Willis as the man on the brain. Because he really does look like a stick man on the brain. You can see his head there resting on the cerebrum, his back slouched over the pons and his legs sort of dangling down the vertebral column. If you remember that that is how he is positioned, back on the pons, head on the cerebrum, legs on the vertebral column, that's quite helpful because that will help you remember what each part of Willis is named and also what each part of Willis actually supplies um, in terms of blood supply. So the two images, Willis as a stick man alien and Willis as a man on the brain, are really the two sort of memory aids I'm really offering you to help you sort of remember this. So there's this again and here he is labelled. So we're going to turn the lights out now just to take away the um, labelling and we're going to start with our first structure which is the circulus arteriosus or the actual circle of Willis which makes up Willis's head. Now um, this circle functions as a sort of insurance policy for the brain and by that I mean if any of the arteries that you can see feeding in and out of this circle are for some reason partially or fully occluded, the idea is that the remaining vessels would continue to feed into the circle of Willis and the unoccluded vessels would continue feeding out of the circle of Willis and so the brain would be supplied with a collateral circulation or an alternative blood supply that would minimise um, ischemia in the event of a partial occlusion of any one vessel. So that's Willis's head. Now off of Willis's head come three pairs of arteries here, here and here. And these three pairs of arteries all supply the cerebrum and they're hopefully named the anterior cerebral arteries. So the anterior cerebral arteries are Willis's antenna, antenna anterior these two vessels coming off the middle part of um, Willis's head are the middle cerebral arteries and these two remaining arteries are the posterior cerebral arteries so there are three pairs of arteries supplying the cerebrum then coming off the internal part of the circle um, forming, forming um, Willis's eyes are the internal carotid arteries so internal to the circle internal carotids now moving down from Willis's head we obviously have his back and his back is the basilla artery, back basilla. Now you might remember from our man on the brain image that Willis's back is resting on the pons and so these smaller arteries coming off of Willis's back are the pontine arteries. Moving down from his back we have Willis's legs or an upside down V. V for vertebral arteries, these are the vertebral arteries and in between his legs we have um, a structure connecting the two legs which makes our inverted V look a bit like the letter A. A 
anterior spinal arteries. So that's how um, we can remember this, ve this vessel, the anterior spinal artery. Moving up now, we have three more pairs of vessels that we've missed. Now you might remember that there were three vessels, or three pairs of vessels that supplied the cerebrum. Now there are also three pairs of vessels that supply the cerebellum, or the small brain. And these are broken down into the superior cerebellar arteries, which are these two structures, and the inferior cerebellar arteries, which are these two, and these two vessels. Now, these first two are known as the anterior inferior cerebellar arteries, and these last two are known as the posterior inferior cerebellar arteries. So that's three vessels of Willis's head that we've covered already, supplying the cerebrum, and three vessels of Willis's um, back and legs that supply the cerebellum. So that brings us to a close, really, on our um, circle of Willis presentation on um, the man on the brain. And here's a, a brief slide just to recap. Thank you for watching. And um, this presentation was brought to you by Aid Medical, medical education for free, as it should be.